Baltimore Hotel on West Baltimore Street is ready for Halloween. Built in 1928, it has 428 guest rooms, but some of the guests here never check out. I have the haunters. Ghosts. Three in particular. General Manager Gene Addis says the Lord Baltimore was the tallest building in the city during the Depression. The story goes one night after a party dressed in their finest, a man and woman jumped to their deaths along with their seven-year-old daughter. Which is Molly, our resident child, and her parents. And she is often seen wandering the hallways, her parents dancing in the ballroom, Molly playing with her red ball in the hallway. And when they see Molly, they usually see her with a red ball. A red ball. I cannot explain the red ball, except that she's always with a red ball. I have calls in the, in, on record in the middle of the night that, can you talk about this girl in the hallway? Can you call and find her parents? There's someone running down the hallway. I have people who call and say, Someone walked through my room last night. Can you check the lock? There was a woman standing in my room. In fact, here's a comment from guests who stayed here on October the 12th. They had seen Molly playing with the red ball and it reads, it genuinely spooked us both. I couldn't sleep that night. I know there's nothing you can do about this situation. And it goes on to say, except for the ghosts, they had an excellent time. But that's not all guests have reported seeing. Remotes move or disappear. TVs go on and off. I have an elevator that rides from the 19th floor to the lobby, to the 19th floor, back to the lobby. It opens and closes. There's no one on it. Elevator number two. And we live with it. I have housekeepers who will not go into guest rooms. I have two that quit because they were so tired of being chased by Molly. So, what will you see at the Lord Baltimore Hotel? Well, hopefully a great hotel with a few little extras on the side. Think of them as amenities. Going up, Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.